day before Lindsay and I were heading off on vacation, photonews.ca sent me the Tamron 24-70 Generation 2 to review. I got it from Amplis Photo, great Canadian company. Check out that magic trick. So far this is all filmed on my GoPro, but eventually everything will be filmed, handheld, on the 24-70 VC, unless otherwise noted. 7 in the morning out here in Laguna Beach, and I'm taking the new Tamron 24-70 VC out for a little bit of a test run. The flare from this lens is handled super nicely. I actually really enjoy how soft the flare is here. The VC in the Generation 2 version of this lens is incredible. This is just walking around. I'm not doing the ninja walk or anything like that. This is just straight, regular, boring walking, and it looks fantastic. This is using the autofocus. It tracks accurately and quickly even if using a Nikon camera body while currently rolling a video. Nothing that I've shot on the 24-70 in this video is edited or color corrected in any way other than shooting on shade white balance. There's a lot of travel in this video. If you are also interested in traveling the world with your camera and getting your camera to pay your bills, there's a link in the description below to exactly how we do it. It does cost a little bit of money because I don't want 10,000 people out there in the world starting to do all of these systems because then they will go away for everyone. And it also took hundreds of hours, if not thousands of hours to actually figure out how to still make money as a photographer uh, in this year because no magazines or newspapers or Press organizations are going to hire us and fly us somewhere really cool that you have to do this yourself and it's all about being in control of, I guess, your own destiny. So check that out if you're interested. If not, back to the Tamron review. Bokeh from this lens is really nice, uh, really good saturation, really nice colors. My Tamron primes uh, as well as this lens are a little bit bluer than my Nikon primes and zooms, but I'm almost always shooting on shade mode, so that doesn't really specifically matter to me. The Tamron is better in almost every way, maybe every way, than the Nikon 24-70 VR, and it's a lot cheaper as well. The value for this lens is off the charts, and also the build quality is great. It's also a lot better than the old Tamron 24-70, which I used to use a lot. This is Taylor Jackson's Unfair Comparisons. Today on Unfair Comparisons, we are talking about the Sony RX100V, which is a point-and-shoot camera, kind of expensive um, as a point-and-shoot, but less cost than the 24-70 Tamron G2, just the lens. Uh, it is on a Nikon D750 body, very large, very small on the Sony over here. If you're looking for a travel camera, you're looking for the 24-70 to be that travel solution that you need, I highly recommend that you look into something smaller like the Sony RX100V. I would way rather carry around this camera over here in my back pocket wherever I go. I would get way more shots um, out on vacation than I would carrying a full digital SLR around. Obviously, if I'm going to be going out to a wedding or a portrait shoot or really anything that I'm professionally hired to do, uh, the D750 with this 24-70 Tamron G2 is an amazing solution for that. But if I'm just out there for fun for myself, I'm going to pick this Sony every single time. That is all for unfair comparisons today. Let's go to Las Vegas. Also, Orange County Airport is one of the greatest airports in the world, so fly out of it instead of LAX if you ever have the opportunity. Las Vegas Airport is the only airport that I am aware of that has a liquor store in the baggage claim area. Look 
forget me, I'm in a taxi cab. Who's your friend? Nighttime here in Las Vegas. I'm going to go test the VC at night. I'm going to start at 1 30th of a second uh, handheld, no stabilization on the banister or anything. Uh, and then I'm going to go down to 1 10th of a second and 1 5th of a second and see if I can maintain sharpness handheld with this new fancy VC that's actually working out pretty good so far. So let's go do that. I am totally comfortable shooting at one slash tenth of a second on this lens at 24 millimeters or at one thirtieth of a second at 70 millimeter, which is pretty amazing, I think. an excessive number of places to visit to review a lens. Let's go get some ramen. Here's some music. Can you show me if the season is ending? Is this hardship surrendered through this curse in the sea? wrap it up i am taylor jackson thank you for coming across the country from our home in toronto canada to laguna beach to las vegas to washington dc for ramen in new york city and back home to toronto canada this tamron 24 to 70 is an incredible lens and i hope that by watching this it kind of showed you some samples of what is possible maybe you got your creativity stirring a little bit if you are interested in traveling the world with your camera and getting paid to do so 
check out that course in the description below. It's already helped over a thousand photographers start their journey to start actually getting paid for their travel and landscape work. There is no actual technical photography in this course. It is just all straight business, which I think I am the best at teaching. So check that out if you're interested. If not, that's totally cool too. I hope that you enjoy your future photography career wherever that takes you. And just remember that while this lens is incredibly sharp and amazing and will help you create better images, at the end of the day, a lens is just a tool. And a lot of the challenge to actually getting good photographs is just being in the right place at the right time. So find somewhere that you've always wanted to go and start saving for that trip because that trip is what's going to make you those incredible images. It's not just going to be the lens. You have to get there. Subscribe on YouTube, follow us on Instagram. I am at Taylor Jackson. Lindsay is at L Coulter Photo. Uh, and we will see you next time.